And look at that Hebrews as I wrap up for the night. Somebody happy? So therefore, if a man despises the gospel, can we say that the man has rejected help? Power City. If a man despises the gospel, can we say that the man has rejected help? Huh? All right. Yes, he has. How can God help you outside the gospel? The only help of God to a man is the gospel. The gospel of Christ. And uh, the next verse now. Give me that next verse there. Put it back. It is a... For we know him that hath said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. Yes. I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. That, that fearful thing is another place they use. It's an oxymoron. That sentence, that verse is an oxymoron. Actually, the way it is in the original, it is not a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. It is a fearful thing to fall out of the hands of the living God. It's not into his hand. It's to fall out. But the verse is written like an oxymoron, direct opposite. There's nothing fearful in falling into his hand. In fact, that's where you should fall now. <laughs> is it not his hand you should fall inside? The one that should fear you is when you fall. Exactly. Is it clear? Okay, that verse, that's the way it is. Now, he moved from that verse to deal with vengeance. Now, if you observe the word vengeance, the first time it appeared is in Isaiah 61 vengeance and in acts 2 20 brother peter talked about the notable day of the lord the day of judgment vengeance that day of vengeance is a day of eternal damnation for those who rejected the gospel that's why when people say day of vengeance today i laugh because there's no day of vengeance today today is the day of salvation you cannot have vengeance in salvation. You cannot have vengeance in salvation. The day of vengeance is after all is said and done. The gospel is preached. People rejected the gospel. People did not accept the gospel. And then the last day, the curtain is drawn. Once salvation closes, vengeance opens. You can't have vengeance in the day of salvation. So when you see billboards carrying vengeance service, just do like this. You know, like this. To fear qua. Vengeance. <laughs> vengeance is God's last card for people who rejected Christ. Clear? Yes. It's not fall and die, fall and die, fall and die, fall and die. Uh, may you have a disease that is incurable. All that is that that is incantation. Incantation powered by native doctorism followed by evil spirits why did you shout like that <laughs> didn't they ask jesus they want to bring fire down in luke chapter 9 what did jesus say bible say he turned and did what what do you rebuke evil spirits he gave them the same treatment he will give to evil spirits. He rebuked them. And he said, you know not what manner of spirit you are of. For the son of man is not here to destroy men's lives, but to save. And they went to another village. If he didn't bring vengeance in that situation, is it today you want to bring vengeance? Are we clear on this? God is light and in him there is no darkness at all every good and perfect gift is from above so if you pray for somebody to lose his job and he lost his job is it god that answered the prayer losing a job is it a good thing so it is not from god that means you and evil spirits collided because it's the devil who comes to steal to kill and to destroy but jesus says i am come that you may have life and have it 
Exactly. Good things are from God. It doesn't matter the color on the neck of the man of God who is praying those wicked prayers. Him and Satan are in alliance. They have a big coalition to carry out evil. Since the devil fell, I have never seen one time the devil is helping anybody. He has only one mission with all his demons, destruction. Yes, sir. And God has only one mission, salvation. If it's clear, say I hear you. God is light and in him, there is no darkness. It is called absolute light. Absolute. Those of you, these sciences, when something is absolute, there's no atom of the opposite. Absolute light. Kabadaya. Kabadaya. Kuladaba. Mentolada. Kere de Gege. My God is a good God. I don't know about your own, but my God is a good God. Good things come from Him. Blessings come from Him. Salvation comes from Him. The best God can do to a man that is suffering is to get him out of the suffering. It is called the mercy of God. God does not delight in the punishment of anybody. No, he's long suffering, not willing that any soul should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So it's his goodness that leads men to repentance. So when God wants to get you, what does he do? He throws good things around you. Why? So that by his goodness, you will be persuaded to believe in him. God does not threaten people to respond to him. He's not a terrorist. Anything that frightens you, and makes you look for God is not God. God loves you and he will love you to himself. Teaching good here tonight. He will love you. He will woo you. He will woo you and follow you and woo you and be dropping good, good things. When you think you should die, he will drop another good one. When you think, uh -uh, there are people among us here that have prayed before, Father, the next time I commit sin, cut off my neck. Then you did it four times before you remember. They say, Father, uh, did I say that? I'm, I wasn't serious. I'm sorry, sir. I was just joking. In fact, I thank you because you're merciful. Are there people that have prayed that kind of prayer? If God were to answer that kind of prayer, you will have been gone. But God's mercy endures. The steadfast love of the Lord never fails. His mercy will never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Shataladaba. Stand on your feet. Let me close this service. Egebo Shakaya. There can be no better place to close a service than the celebration of the mercy of God. They were going to battle, and, and Jehoshaphat said to God, God, we're going to confront enemies, but we don't know what to do. And God said to them, just sing about my mercy. And they set up a choir. Only a madman is going to fight people with guns and bullets. And he will set a choir in front. And the choir began to sing and to praise God in the beauty of his holiness. And they began to say, praise the Lord. His mercy endure it forever. And as they were singing the mercy of God, the enemies began to fight one another. I declare over you today, by reason of God's mercy, the devil will never triumph around you. Somebody shall praise the Lord. His mercy endure it forever. I thought I would hear powerful amen. Can we say it three times? One, two, go. Praise the Lord. His mercy endure it forever. Two more times. One more time. You know, as you are shouting this, the devil is on the run. Glory, 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 glory. Somebody shout mercy. Paul said, I was injurious. I was a blasphemer. I wasted the church, but I obtained mercy. Kabato, kabato. So let's come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need by the grace and the mercy of God. As your amen will come like thunder, every area of your life where you need help, receive help right now. Receive help for that need. Receive help for that situation. Receive help for that situation. Receive help for that situation. Receive help right now. Help, 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 help. help. 
take it. Help, 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 help. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, I lambano. I take it. I take it. Zibato malaka to kere de kika. Somebody shout, I take it. When you think of the mercy of Jesus, when you think of the mercy of Jesus, you know that the devil has lost the battle forever. The devil that could not defeat you in the battle cannot win the war. David said to Goliath, when I was in the bush, the lion and the bear came up against me. My God gave me victory. You are Goliath. Whether you are Goliath or you are lion or you are bear, all of you are the same. The fact that you change size and shape doesn't mean you have changed your identity and origin. The same God that gave me victory in the battle will give me victory in the war. I declare over you today that devil that could not stop your salvation cannot interfere with your miracles. Cannot stop your testimonies. Somebody shout, I receive the manifestation of the mercy of God in my life. I didn't hear that amen on the note of final letter. Great peace of they that love your law. Great peace have they that love your law. Nothing shall offend them. Kabadaga. Nigado gagaga. Great peace have they. Somebody shout, I have great peace. Somebody shout, nothing shall offend me. Say, I am secured. Totally secured. Absolutely secured. In Christ Jesus, my Savior. I didn't hear your amen. Go ahead and celebrate the mercy of God in this world. Is that how you celebrate God's mercy? Glory!